inferior turbinate, middle turbinate. This is where the middle turbine is attached to the lateral wall. You can see the olfactory groove. Can you see the yellow discoloration at the top that comes almost to the middle of the septum and also usually to the middle of the middle turbinate as well? So this forms the olfactory area or cleft that you want to preserve as much as possible so you do not have any problems. Where does skull base start? This, all this is not skull base, this is nasal bone. The skull base will only start after the bulla, which roughly corresponds to the posterior wall of the frontal. So all this is not skull base, it's just the nasal bone. Okay? So now let's look at the gates. So the way I remember, gate 1 is the antenate process. Gate 2 is the bulla. The bulla is like a prosperous stomach. Like as you grow older, this is how your stomach will become as well. Gate number three is the ground lamella where the middle turbinate turns laterally to go to the medial wall of the orbit. That's gate number three. Ancinate, gate one. Bulla, gate two. Ground lamella, gate three. And behind that will be gate number four, which is the anterior wall of the spinal sinus. So gate number two, which is bulla, you can have an air cell on top of it and that will usually form a supra-bulla vista, as you can see up there. You can also have an air cell behind that, which will be a lateral bulla vista. In the same way, the ground lamella, or the gate number three, divides anterior ethmoids, which is usually small cells, around 11 to 15, from the posterior ethmoids that are fewer but larger in size. Is that clear, right? The same way, if you want to go to the sphenoid sinus, to the natural ostia, you just have to go medial to the turbinate. You will see the superior turbinate there. And then we will go along the posterior or the superior turbinate. That's the superior turbinate where the posterior admoids opens up. And then if you go midway, you should be able to find the sphenoid ostia. So that's the sphenoid ostia as you can see. So if you are doing a functional surgery for the sphenoid, this, and there's a supreme turbinate here as well. Can you guys see that? So again, middle turbinate, superior turbinate, supreme turbinate, and exactly in the middle of this, a few, a few, a few centimeters above the posterior corona, a few millimeters, sorry, you will find the sphenoid opening. And if you want to do a functional first surgery for the sphenoid, where the function is preserved, all you need to do is enlarge it inferiorly and medially, preserve the mucosillary clearance all around the edges, do not damage the mucosillary clearance, and you are inside the sphenoid sinus, as you can see. Okay? 